All right, let's let's do the take one. <laughs> okay. Welcome everyone. I'm here today uh, with Marshall Golden Eagle Jack. He's a Paiute elder, wisdom keeper, water protector. Um, and I, I met Marshall in 2017. I forget, I met Marshall in Texas when he was leading water yeah. wheel ceremonies. I attended years. a few. Yeah, and, and I'm here today to talk about um, a vision and a project that Marshall has initiated called the People's Wave of Love. This is a global ceremony that will be taking place first during the spring equinox and then the big ceremony, it's a 10 day ceremony will be happening in June of this year around the solstice. So I'd love to hand it over to Marshall and, and have him just tell us a little bit about your vision, Marshall, for that you received about the ceremony um, what the what the mission of the ceremony is in your eyes, and just anything that that you'd like people to know about it. Yeah, thank you, Rosa. Um, there's a lot of dialogue that we can discuss, but we're trying to condense this down to a short video. Um, we're getting a website up and running where it goes into more detail of of what the ceremonies are about. But basically, it's um. It was a vision that was shown through the Holy Realm, Realms around Christmas time last year in 2020. Actually, it was December 28th. What the Holy Ones shared with me was um, a ceremony that um, I remembered I was involved in way back in 1958. And it had to do with our prayers. Uh, and working with a, with the spirit of the sun, the grandfather sun, and the spirit of the grandmother moon. And our elders, they um, told us that we could use the sun at sunset, and we can put out all of our prayers that we need for our lands, for ourselves, for our families, plants and animals, whatever it is. And we can ask the sun to hold that energy in in its heart if you will and we ask the sun to carry that energy all the way around the world and uh, you know ask, asking for that help in the same token we can do the same with the moon we can ask the grandmother moon to hold our prayers and shine it all the way around the world so that's basically what the what the holy ones were showing in, in vision and so i took it upon myself to look deeper into it how how can we manage to do this? And um, you know, in our indigenous ways, we usually keep it at home, and so the indigenous people are, you know, well rehearsed on how we <laughs> how we do the ceremony. But for people who don't know about ceremony or how to get involved, that's what this is about. And there's three elements to it. Um, the first one is describing in separate videos. Um, a thing that we call permission. It's asking permission to speak with the highest realms that we possibly know. It could be God Almighty, it could be the Great Spirit, it could be the Holy Spirit, whatever, whatever it may be in your culture or your, your practices. So we're asking permission. That's very important. The other video is going to be condensed down into offerings. What are offerings? Why do we give offerings? And so during this event or events, we're going to be using water offerings. And so we'll be discussing more exactly how to use water offerings during, during, the, during the ceremonies. And the third one is, um, I think it should maybe should be on the top of the list, is calling in all of our ancestors. You know, what does that mean? Who are we calling upon? Uh, you know, I've heard several people say, well, I, you know, I don't have, have a lot of good ancestors in my background. I don't know if I want to call them in or not. <laughs> and so we're going to go in depth of how we understand the ancestors. And basically, it's calling in all the ancestors, both on our mother and our father's side, to help us with our prayers, to help us with this journey, to help us with this ceremony. And so 
we're going to go into much more detail of how we're, we're going to come together through what I consider a global synchronization. And so on the days that we are um, putting together, we're going to ask globally, wherever you are on the planet, to join us doing your sunrise and sunset times in your particular time zone. And so we're all going to be linked together through time zones. And so our first time zone is going to probably start in New Zealand. And we're, um, we're asking that our children could learn these um, techniques, if you will, or what we call spiritual protocol. And we're asking our children to pray for the world, you know, to see and to offer what they can see out here that needs to be changed. And then we'll follow up with the grandmother's prayers, the grandfather prayers, the elders prayers, if you will, and then everybody else after that. So basically, that's the gist of what we're putting together. It's more of a formulation of what the ceremony is about, how it, um, it is conducted, and how we as individuals can join in during these events. So I think that's a broader view of what we're um, what we're doing. Uh, so I'm going to hand it back to Rosa if there's any other questions that you may have. Yeah, thank you so much um, for giving us the summary and for, for saying yes to, to this vision. It's a big vision. And I don't know, it just popped up into my head to ask right now, why is it important that we do this now? What is it about the time that we're in? Why is this ceremony happening now? Uh, you know, growing up in the indigenous ways, we um, we always looked at the Mother Earth as a as a living being, as a as a big giant grandmother, if you will. And our elders they teach us to take care of the Earth, you know, never to destroy it, and that we're here to to help the Earth um, evolve. And so, in our prayers, in our in our energy fields we're taught how to use the energies to put back into balance anything that's that's out of harmony, if you will. And so I feel that it's very important that each one of us here on this planet right now at this given time is that each one of us, even the children, all the way up to the oldest elders, we all have an authority to walk upon this earth. What we don't have in in the populations around the world is a unification. How do we do this being united or synchronized? And so what I see is that if we can get everybody together and um, linking up, if you will, that we can change things that are happening on this planet for the better. Um, you know, we all as individuals see in our different lands, our different cultures, our different people, whatever around the planet, wherever we're living, we see problems. And, you know, the, there's this one creeping in right now, the pandemic, obviously. You know, that's a, that's a major, major situation. It's almost like we're at war with, with, uh, <laughs> with the microbials or whatever you want to call them. And um, and then we have, you know, I'm not going to list all the issues that we have here on the planet. You know, governments are, are another one, human rights, you know, all those other different things. But I feel that we can change things around if we come together through a global synchronization and we add all of our prayers together, combine them all together that, yeah, I believe and I've seen this happen through my lifetime that things will change through the power of prayer. And, if, and the elders, they teach us about the intentions, you know, the intentions of our prayers. What are we praying about? You know, we don't want to pray anything bad out there to, to anything or anybody. We're just asking and calling in all of their ancestors to, hey, look down upon us. We need, we need to have some kind of a change going on here on this planet. And... Um, 
So anyway, that's kind of like the gist of what I, I understand of how this is going to work. It's just like everybody linking up together, addressing the issues in your particular areas and your particular lands, um, and just putting forth the energy of the prayers. That's the way I see it anyway. Beautiful. Thank you. And can you talk a little bit? So we're calling, we've decided to call this ceremony the People's Wave of Love. And, and that was informed by the, by the structure of the ceremony, since like Marshall said, it will be kind of conducted um, in each time zone at, at sunrise and sunset, there's a rhythm to it and a kind of a building energy. I'm wondering if you can speak more about, about that, about the kind of the structure and the rhythm of the ceremony and, and the intention with that. Well, real fast, like we'll kind of jump forward here. Um, you know, after everybody's seen the instructional videos, if you will, the protocols, once that's underneath our, our belt, so to speak, on day, day one, um, we're going to jump to the summer solstice ceremony. That's a 10 day event. And the wave, the people's wave, is going to initiate again with New Zealand. And so New Zealand starts us off in their time zone. The next time zone initiates their prayers, so on and so forth, through all the time zones. This is going to happen for 10 days straight. And, and what it means is that every morning, and this is for the overachievers out here, <laughs> I know a lot of people aren't, aren't morning people, and that's fine. That's fine. And these are just guidelines of uh, how we can join together. They're not, I'm not saying, you know, you have to do this. And, you know, there, there's no right way or wrong way in, in, in these ceremonies. It's, it's coming from your heart. It's the intention that needs to be completed more than anything else. So it doesn't matter how you complete the intention. So basically what it means is that we'll get up before sunrise and we'll place a container of water out there on the land or outside where the sun can, can touch that water container. And we understand water is very powerful. It, it will communicate with us and we can communicate with that and with it. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna pour our prayers from our, our hearts, our, our energy fields into that water. And once our prayers are held into that water in that sunrise, when the sun comes up and shines on that water, because it's, I'm going to suggest put it in a glass container so that the sun can shine through the glass and into the water, that it will magnify the prayers. Don't tell me how I know that. I just, that it, it just works. I, haven't, I don't scientifically know how it works, but it works. So all of our prayers will be put into the water. And so as the sun emerges and shining its light down on our prayers, we add more prayers to the water. And then during the solstice is that part of the waters will offer to the energy of the solstice, to the planet, to the, all the plants and the animals and the waters and the, all the animal kingdom, water kingdoms, and you know, so on and so forth at noon. And uh, then the, the rest of the water will be offered at sunset. And so at sunset, that's when we're going to ask the sun, the grandfather sun, to hold our prayers in its heart that we made for that particular day. And we're going to ask the sun to hold it in his heart and shine it all the way around the planet. And so if you can really sync with this, we're having who knows how many billions of prayers that are going to ripple across the world. And then the next day, the same thing happens. We get up at sun before sunrise, put our water out there again, and do that, do the offerings again with the water. Now, it's um, interesting because during the solstice in June, we have another factor to consider and to work with, and that's the grandmother moon. The full moon is happening during the same time. So we're, um, we're looking at 
the solstice ceremony lasting for five days, starting on June 18th. The solstice is on June 20th. And so we have two days before the solstice and two days after the solstice that we can offer our energy and our prayers. Now on the June 22nd, this is gonna be a, a, little, a little tricky for a lot of people to understand because we're ending a cycle of that solstice and we're beginning the new cycle of the full moon. So again, the full moon is on the, on the 24th. And so we're starting the full moon energy on the 22nd, right? Two days before. And then we're going to go through with the full moon energy until the morning of the 27th of June. Now that might sound a little confusing. So we're going to describe all of this, right? In more detail. But basically with a full moon, we're just going to be doing the opposite offerings, instead of doing them for the day, we're going to be doing them at night. And so on the 22nd, we're going to make our last offering for the solstice at sunset. And then we're going to begin our first offering for the full moon also at sunset. So we're going to have different containers, one for the solstice and one for the full moon energy. And so as a full moon comes into play, we put our water out there so the so the moon can enhance our prayers. All right. And so at midnight, again, for the overachievers, <laughs> we're going to offer the water at midnight um, to the Mother Earth. And then at, at sunrise, um, and then without that, will finish us off with a full moon. We'll just ask the moon to carry our prayers with it, too, and shine it all the way around the world. And so that'll be uh, kind of like the, the overview of the ceremony. So again, it's a 10-day ceremony, five days for the sun, five days for the moon. I think that might help people understand a little bit more of how this all works. And again, we're going to go into more detail with the new website coming up. Sweet. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. As you were describing that, it's, it's just becoming clearer to me how, how much potential something like this has to, like you said, help sync us up, how to come to bring people back into, into a healthy rhythm with the world around us so that we can have, have more of an impact and have our prayers reach further and, and join up more as a people uh, who are united, um, united for the benefit of the earth and for benefit of, of one human family. So, mm -hmm. yeah, thank you. I'm wondering if there's anything else, anything else that you want to share before we close well, up? The biggest, the biggest thing that I see um, that's the most beneficial or the most benevolent outcome for all of this is, is learning about energy in right alignment with, our, with prayers and intention is that we're asking for a better planet, right? Wherever we are around the planet, around the earth, wherever you live. But the most important thing that I see for myself is offering as much energy or much intentions in my prayers for the unborn, for the children that are coming behind us, that the environment that we see around the planet in most areas is not really a good place to have to bring children up in. You know, it's, it's not a criticism. It just, it, it, it is what it is. So I see if we start now, we start cleaning up the planet through our prayers and, you know, putting out the best prayers that we can, the best intentions that we can to start managing the planet again, the way it used to be, then by the time the unborn start coming in, they'll have a good place to live. They'll have you know clean water, good food, good shelter, clothing in the whole nine yards. But we, the living ones right now, we need to do something about that. And so this, this ceremony that's coming up during the solstice, this isn't gonna be the only one. This is just an initiation of how we can change 
the environment around us through our intentions and make it a better place for all of us, you know, but especially for the unborn. You know, that's, that's kind of like my message is like, we need to do something now before it's too late. I hope. I hope. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, and I think myself, like many people, I've, I've lived my whole life with this feeling like something's wrong, like we're off track. This is things I see going around, going on around me, or I know it's a violation of, of natural law. Um, but like many people, I sort of felt powerless to do anything about it. So I'm really, I'm really glad you're initiating the ceremony. And, and my hope is that people like me who maybe have lived with a, with a knowing that something was wrong, but with a lack of, you know, feeling kind of powerless and not knowing what you can do about it, I really hope that that more people who feel like that join up and and realize that you do you do have authority, like you said, on this earth as a human being to do something about the situation that we're in. And through the videos, we're going to teach you about the authority that you have. We're going to teach you about your ancestors. We're going to teach you about offering. We're going to teach you about the permission, teach you about intentions, and teaching you about the unborn, the one that, that are still coming behind us. Because they have an energy too, you know, that, that we can't see, we can't feel, but we know it's coming. It's like new souls coming into the planet. So, you know, I give my blessings to all of you who are watching this, this video right now. We have upcoming videos. We're working on a very powerful website. Uh, there's a lot of um, <laughs> uh, technical things that need to be placed in place before we launch the video. So that's or the website, but it's coming soon. We have a lot of a lot of very good people in the background trying to put all of this together for us so that we can we can launch the website as soon as we can and then the just to kind of leave a side note with you we're going to go through through an energy field here coming up on the equinox in march it's not that very far away and so we're going to try to get as many videos out as we can so that we can join in with the, the equinox the sun during the equinox and we're going to go through five days of what I just mentioned before, is doing offerings with the sun. And so it's going to be a, be a fast paced kind of a scenario, but I know we can do it. I know we can do it. Once you get, once you understand what you can do as an individual, then you, you're not alone. You're not alone. You have a lot of support that that's around you, especially with the ancestors, the holy ones, the creator, you know, all those things. There's a lot of influence around you that a lot of people don't understand. They've never heard of this before. But, uh, you know, I grew up with it ever since I was a little guy. You know, that's what our elders teach, teach us about the energy. So again, I welcome you to stay with us and, and to join in whenever you can. Again, what we're sharing with you are guidelines. If you have a different way, that's fine. But we need to complete the intention. The intention is to make a better place on this planet for the unborn. Oh. So, oh, thank you so much, Marshall. Um, so I think we'll we'll probably we'll probably end this video here and and just know that a website is coming soon. A uh, Facebook group is already up. I'll post all of that stuff with the video. I encourage you to, to join our email list to stay up to date on the event and to reach out to us if you have any questions or inspirations. More videos will be coming. And I just want to I just want to bow to Marshall and say thank you so much for bringing bringing this wisdom forth for for standing in your authority and for helping to make this planet a better place for the people who are already here and for for those who will come. So thank you. Yeah, well, thank you very much for that. You know, we have in the background, there's a lot of um, a lot of groups that are joining with us in the background. Also, support groups. Um, uh, we'll list them on the website. Um, 
you know, we're doing platforms with nonprofit organizations. We're creating our own corporation. I mean, on and on. There's so much to do, um, so much homework. And uh, Rosa is a very integral part of this too. She has a lot of talents, uh, you know, putting together Zoom videos like this. And then, you know, in the background, she's working with, with emails and email structures and, you know, uh, the other one, oh, the, the upcoming uh, uh, newsletter, she's developing that in the background. So, so we have a lot of, a lot of people like Rosa that are really, really enthusiastic about this, this journey. And it's all about the intention, you know, calling and whenever we do, uh, whenever we get together in a core meeting or whatever, we always offer our prayers, asking permission to come together that way so that we can, we can provide this for all of us around the planet. So thank you, Rosa, and I appreciate everything you do and, and uh, you to create more videos, instructional videos and to help you out there wherever you're at to join in with us but you're not alone we're with you right now we're sitting right beside you so stay tuned <laughs>